this session I'm going to also demonstrate how to create charts or how to insert charts in a document in Microsoft Word. A lot of times when you're creating a report or major document or whatever, it may involve in using data as well. And by the way, they'll have another video on importing linking Excel with Microsoft Word. That's another tutorial that will be coming shortly here, but this is basically how to insert a chart within a document. So we click here on chart under the insert tab and then basically you pick the design that you want for your chart. Notice you have a live preview of whatever the chart is going to look like. So let's assume I want just a column chart for now and then click OK. At this point, notice as soon as it inserts the chart, notice you have this Excel-like data entry form here. So it says Series 1. Well, maybe you would want uh, the months here. So basically, you have to uh, plug in the data at this point. And then let's say this is the average sales in millions, for example. And you get the idea. Then you'd plug in the numbers. So let's say this was 7.8. In February it was 2.7. And in March it was 6.9. Now notice uh, the table here is being updated automatically. Now the other thing to notice as well, and I'm going to try to make this bigger or navigate through a little bit. Notice that we don't need this category 4. What we can do here is that we can actually exclude that. So instead of deleting it, because if you deleted it, notice what happens. It just leaves it still there, but it's just going to be blank. What you need to do is you need to move this blue area, hold the mouse on it until it changes to double arrow, and then drag it up. And then let it go. And now notice the chart. It's going to be automatically readjusting for your display here in your document. Now, if I click outside of the chart here or close this at any point here, now this, now it's ready and I can resize this however I want. You can change the title, of course. Now, if you wanted to change additional properties for this, you can double click on it again. And notice you have the design area and you can change and utilize a different style again for your charts here. And you could tweak this however you need it to make it much fancier as you can see and you can change also the quick layout if you need it to you can change colors if you prefer to and other options as well as well as editing the data here as well if you don't like the same type chart or type of chart that you pick you can change it from here notice there's also another tab here under contextual tools where you can adjust the formatting for this. And keep in mind here for the chart as well under the formatting, there's also the option for text wrapping. So text wrapping, it's a really important com uh, concept to understand for all types of objects that you use in your document. So I choose here, wrap tightly around the text here, and now notice the chart can be part of my document.